In entertainment news this evening, Heather Gillis tells us about two local artists who are heading off to Venice to one of the biggest art shows in the world. These scenes of Venice, Italy turn into a mosaic from far away. And for the first time, artwork by two men residing in this province will be showcased in that city. Artwork by Peter Wilkins and Will Gill will be featured at the 2013 Venice Benali this spring. It's one of the world's oldest, biggest, and most renowned art festivals. It's the world's old, oldest um, sort of great art exhibition. It's over 100 years old, and it is the great art show of contemporary art in the world. Um, all the major art-producing nations um, have their own pavilion and send their greatest artists, and this year's Shari Board is going for Canada. Gill and Wilkins aren't representing the country at the Canada Pavilion, but they were selected to show at what's called a collateral event. The artists have to raise nearly $100,000 to get their art and themselves to Venice. Not only getting there, shipping your art over, um, staying in Venice, but renting a space in Venice for five months, which is what we're doing. Um, it's called a collateral event, which means it's outside of the main uh, body of uh, national pavilions. So you rent a space, you, you ship your own work there, you have to pay a, a fee uh, to the Venice Biennale. Copies of six works like these will be sold for up to $1,000. Plus, they hope to get some crowdfunding to help them get there, too. Once they're there, the goal is to promote Newfoundland and Labrador art and culture. The show will begin in June and have hundreds of thousands of visitors. The Terranova Art Foundation hopes to showcase work from more Newfoundlanders at the next Venice Benali in 2015. Heather Gillis, NTV News.